Mills Show. You're trapped in Apple Music One, and I am joined by Seattle native singer, songwriter, entrepreneur Jay Park sitting across from me right Jeez. now. What's up, man? Thank you for the intro. Of course. Thanks yeah, for being yeah. here. Thank you for having me. I'm stoked to have you, man. Stoked to uh, stoked to catch up. I mean, the last time you were on my show, I feel like it was 2018. Yeah, it was five years ago. Five years ago. Wow. Uh, you had a song called Soju. Exactly. With two chains. Exactly. Yes. It's been, it's been some time. Man. Yeah, a lot of life has happened since then. Oh, for sure. That's that five years is half a decade. Right? Yeah. I so. didn't even think about it. Like yeah, that. yeah. That's insane. It is insane. What's been up? <laughs> uh, for the past five years. Um, <laughs> Fill me in. Yeah. So after that, during that press run, when, while I was promoting so the single Soju. Yeah. You know, because I'd, I'd gift everybody like a bottle of Soju. And the, everyone was like, yo, is this... Is this your soju? Like this, I was like, this is what we drink in Korea. And then since everybody here has their own liquor brand, they assumed that that was my brand. That and was I was thing. And I was like, no, it's not. But I should start my own. They're like, you should start your own soju. So I was like, I should. And so that's when I got the idea to start my own soju. And it took like three, four years of development. And then last year we launched one soju. Congratulations. So yeah, I was man. the first person of notoriety to start to launch their own soju in Korea. And it all started with a song. Exactly. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, you've been consistently releasing music, yes, uh, you know, all of 2023. You also recently just became a Gucci global ambassador. Yes, sir. How does that partnership come together? Jay Park and Gucci? You know, I've had a relationship with Gucci for a long time. Uh, you know, they thankfully... Uh, invite me to their events just apart from that like you know I've just been a fan of Gucci and I've worn this the same Gucci belt for like five years you know I, there's this thin just classic black Gucci belt yeah you had it on last time you came to the show I probably did <laughs> I probably did no but I, I literally and so I you know I, I I wear Gucci even though I'm not when I wasn't the ambassador and now it kind of just came together and I'm, I'm thankful I'm, I'm honored to work with such an iconic brand yeah man it's safe to say you got a couple more belts now yes sir um, you know speaking of gucci i want to get into your latest song it's a track called why uh, yes. which you released to celebrate this partnership yes i feel like dude first listen why is is this dance track yeah. right and it's produced by you and your longtime friend cha cha malone yes, as well what's the story behind a song like why i don't know i, I wanted to make it fun um just sonically and so we mixed a bunch of genres together it's like it starts out as house and then goes into jersey club and it goes into kind of afro afro beats and then yeah even though it's like up tempo the song is up tempo the, the lyrics are kind of like sad it's like girl why'd you hurt me like i'm so lonely almost like you're looking out like a, a rainy window it's introspective yeah 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 and you're just super emotional um and dancing for some reason and then it goes into the the afro beats part and then that part is like it switches up the lyrics switches up it's like yo uh, no more asking why uh, i'm feeling fly let's go get it you know like i'm free type of thing so yeah, it's an interesting song i love it we're yeah. gonna play it right now yes, uh, here it is why more jay park right after this back here on apple music one that was why by my in-studio guest jay park now you are also the first asian artist to ever be signed to rock nation yes, sir. you see this thing floating around on social media a lot would you take the the five hundred thousand dollars would you get dinner with jay-z yeah i mean what what advice or guidance have you gotten from jay-z well the funny thing is i recently saw this hope interview where he's like take the five hundred thousand like yeah no he did yeah he's like Everything you can learn from me is on my albums, right? And so when I was younger and I listened to Jay-Z, I didn't, I, I couldn't comprehend a lot of his lyrics. And now that, you know, I'm an artist, I grow as a human being and as a man, and I'm growing as an artist and also an entrepreneur. Now that I listen back, like, it, a lot of the stuff, it, it, it clicks now. Yeah. Even though $500,000 is a huge amount of money, I would take the dinner with Hope. You would. Even it, without me meeting him, I've learned a lot from him. Even starting, you know, uh, one soju, starting my labels, just like trying to be an entre entrepreneur, building your own brands, you know, investing in yourself. I feel like he is kind of like the f the forefront of that that movement for, for hip hop. Tell me about the time that you met Beyonce. I've met Queen B a few times, uh, just at the Rock more Nation. More than one. <laughs> yeah, more than once. Just at the, um, what is it, the Rock Nation events? The brunch. The brunch and then the Made in America. Made in America, Made in America Festival, Festival. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, even though it was very brief, even the meeting with Hope was very brief, it was just kind of like crazy for me to just be, even be acknowledged by them because I don't really get too, too starstruck. Like, I just kind of consider everybody a human being, kind of just consider myself a human beings, we're all human beings. But then there's something about, like, Hov and, and Beyonce. It's like, I don't know, it, it, like, the energy in the room shifts. Like, it's a room full of all celebrities and great artists. And then instantly, like, everyone just becomes fans and just wants to take pictures with it. it, it and so, yeah, it, it was... It was a crazy feeling to, to be like, yo, hey, my name is Jay Park. And she's like, oh, no, you're talented. And I was like, 
the most talented person on earth is calling me talented. I'm like, oh, that's a cosign. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, how do you know I'm talented? Like, that means she watched my stuff or heard my music. And so, yeah, that acknowledgement is, is definitely like a, a feather on my cap for sure. I feel like it's because, you know, when we were growing up, yeah. we turn on the TV. Yeah. We, we turn on the radio. Yes. She's everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, for, for over, I think, two decades now. You know, being on the road, releasing music consistently, yeah. having the record label, the Socha brand. How do how do you how do you manage to to make time for yourself and not burn out? That's a good, very good question. I mean, it's one of those things where even though I do feel burned out, it's like I try to stay very thankful for for the little things, just like health, just the people I have in my life, food, air, water. It keeps you grounded and it keeps you thankful. And I think when you're thankful, it kind of like makes you feel motivated as where it's like if you're kind of blaming everyone else for like your misfortunes or you feeling exhausted, then, you know, life is not going to be fun. And so I think that will burn yourself out even more. So for me, I'm just like, I try to keep myself motivated, keep myself la laughing, try to find things that inspire me, motivate me, make me feel good, basically. And you're definitely not taking your foot off the gas, man. It's For a beautiful sure. thing. I want to play your song, Candy. Let's go. Um, you actually sing in Korean uh, yes. on this one a lot, uh, yes. like a lot of your music. Do you prefer to sing in English or do you prefer to sing in Korean? I used to prefer to sing, sing in English, um, but now it's, it's pretty... Because, you know, I've, I've been doing this for 15 years now, so it's... It's natural. Both languages are natural for me. What are you dreaming? I don't know. That, that's, that's what people ask me. It's like, what? But these days, I feel like it, it's like a mixture of both. I, before, I dream specifically in English and I think in English. And then now, now I've lived exactly half my life in Korea and half my life in the States. So it, it goes back and forth. Yeah, it goes back and forth. Yeah. We're going to play Candy right now on Lord J. Park right after this. Back here on Apple Music One, I got Jay Park sitting across me, and that was Sunday Drive right there. Now, we talked about you singing in both English uh, and Korean. What do you love most about being able to sing in both languages? Well, I, I feel like language is super important. Even though music is a universal language, like, let's say, you know, I have a lot of Latin fans. So, obviously, they, 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 they like my English and Korean music, but if I did a song in Spanish, I think they'd go crazy, right? For sure. Yeah, so I think language is, is very important. And so I was going to say, how many languages do you speak? Well, I, I want to speak them all. Yeah. I want to speak them. So, I have songs in Chinese. I, so And that's the thing that I, I, I make the effort to do is when I collab with the artists from a different country, Japan, Japan, China, whether it be Thailand... Malaysia. I, I try to incorporate words in that language. Uh, so I have like a f almost like a 70% verse in Japanese. I have a full song in Chinese. I have just like some some mixed in Thai words here and there with some Thai artists. Um, and so yeah, for me, and it's also fun to like almost conquer sounding good in that language. For sure. Yeah. Would you ever want to do a Spanish song? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Spanish music is popping, so it sounds very good. And, and and you know, like all these Latin artists are super dope, so I, I would love love to. Can you uh, <laughs> can you give me like three three Latin artists that you'd love to collaborate with? Um, Bad Bunny, no brainer. Yeah, J Balvin, another um, no brainer, and like Anita from Brazil. She's been on the show multiple yeah, times. Yeah, fire. She's and Shakira, incredible. the OG, the OG. Yeah, Shakira for sure. Yeah. Man. Um, you know, with you growing up in Seattle, I mean, talk to me about, about your upbringing. Obviously, Seattle's very hip-hop heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of rock influence yeah. comes from there as well. Yeah. You know, what were you listening to when you were growing up? Uh, so I started listening to, listening to hip-hop um, second grade elementary school. Um, what and was the first hip-hop album you had? It, it was, it's not, I didn't get it, but my cousin had a Walkman. He was listening to something, and then I was like, what are you listening to? And he's like, Warren G. Regulators. And I was like, what? Like, let me listen to it. He's like, no, wow. you can't. He's like, you can't. And I was like, why? Just let me listen to it. Like, and I like, I bugged him about it. He let me listen to it ever since then. And it's weird that I even remember this so vividly. I like, don't think you forget a song like Regulators. For yeah, the yeah, first yeah, yeah, pop song. yeah. Yeah, and so it's like da 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 da. And I was, I, I just remember like hearing that and just instantly falling in love with with that genre. And and then, you know, obviously, it's like. It was on MTV. It was on. We have a, a radio station called Q93. Yeah. And so it's on Q93 all the time. And then, yeah, my cousin was very. He, he bought all the the rap albums and and you know put me on a lot of game in, in hip hop. And ever since then, you know, it's been a rap. It I want my audience to get to know you just just a little bit better. Yeah. What song would you want us to play right now? That's maybe on one of your playlists. Oh. That's, that's in your phone. 
Oh, that, so. that might take us by surprise. Yeah, uh, so I, I've been listening to John B. Keep It Real, Sick. featuring Jay Z a lot. And I, I don't know, I just like that bounce, that bounce and the 90s R&B, like my, that's my, like I grew up on 90s R&B, Montel Jordan, like Keith Sweat, Usher, Genuine, like Boys to Men, Brian McKnight, I grew up on, on that, and that, that's like what I, 112, that's, that's the type of stuff I love, so I've, I've, I've been, these days I've been hella busy, and so, I'm like, yo, how do I like, and I, I haven't really been listening to music like that, like, for the past few years, you know, I'm, I'm not keeping up on the new releases, and I don't, I, like, I don't even play music, um, but I, I've, I've just been trying to play stuff that makes me feel good, so that I can kind of like bring myself up. So while I'm getting ready, I'll turn on John B. Keep it real. I've been in love. How good it feels. Let's play right now. Horny yeah. Park. Right after this. Yeah. Back here in the Apple Music Studios of Jay Park, and that right there is his song, Yesterday. Now, you are arguably uh, one of the most recognizable entertainers in South Korea. Man. Thank you. You know, what, what are some of those unexpected challenges that come with that success Ooh. and the fame? I, I think just longevity in this industry is, is very hard. Yeah, longevity is, is hard. And, and, and uh, just to keep a good rapport with everyone, and also even like your, your childhood friends or your family or people you work with, and also have people admire you and respect you as well it, it, it's you have to put a lot of effort in a lot of effort in i mean even like you know at first being admired for what you want people to know you for look at like the the physical appearance and get into me but to keep people i guess locked you have to have something more to offer than just physical appearance as because as you get older it becomes new people that come in the game and you're not you're, you're not going to be the most ripped guy anymore. You're not going to be the most handsome guy anymore. So, you know, you have to have whether it be charisma or character or personality or you know talent or you have to have something. So, yeah. yeah so just to even even to have people acknowledge my talent, um, working with people that I want to work with, having the freedom to wear what I want to wear, work with Chacha Malone at first, get tattoos in you know it's still banned on TV over there. So all, all these things were a challenge just to, just to be myself is, was a challenge. But, you know, you, you do the same thing. for You keep it consistent for 15 years, and then people start, they start acknowledging you for what you want to be acknowledged for. Yeah, man. And, you know, you use the word longevity. Yes. And, and you know, with you, I mean, having just such a track record, yeah. right, in the genre, K-pop has obviously just exploded globally yes. over the last few years. Why do you think so many people around the world are gravitating to K-pop? Ooh. Well, first of all, it's just, it's very loud, very, very flamboyant, very loud, like the outfits, the, the music videos, the choreography, there's like a lot of members, like over five in every group. Visually, it's just like a lot to take in, it grabs your attention. And then also, like, we work very, very hard, work very, very hard, put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, long, long hours to, uh, you know, kind of polish up our craft, and I think, and, and now we have like the know-how and the actual funds to like get it out there to the people you know because the industry has grown so much and so with the hard work and sacrifice we put in now mixed in with like social media and big conglomerates investing in it and just kind of like the the infrastructure and the network we've built i think that's what made it explode basically yeah and, and correct me if i'm wrong but you know you were talking about you know, longevity and the fact that you put so much so much time and effort into just being yourself. Yeah. And sometimes it, it takes a little bit for people to it catch does. up. Yeah. Right? And when I when I hear you talk about that, a word pops into my head, legacy. Yes. What do you want your legacy to be? You know, in or, or outside of music? I think I'd make the best of my circumstances. I try to bring uplift myself and uplift the people around me basically um and I, that's what i want my legacy to be I, it isn't like you know oh yeah he had the most hits or he had the most followers or you know he was the best dancer or like I, you know I, that's like stuff that i don't really care about of course like i want to be i want to be the best me like i don't want to be better than anybody else i don't really want to compare myself to anybody else not that i'm like i feel like they're beneath me it's just you know i want to be known for my special uniqueness and you know for you whatever you bring to the table and etc so for me yeah i think the biggest thing is just he was him no matter whether I, i'm the gucci ambassador whether i'm you know one soju ceo whatever it may be I, i'm just jay park and uh yeah i've always been about the same thing whether i what just whether i was just a b-boy with no money or now that i've made you know millions of dollars i'm still i have the same mentality like yo it's about me and my people 
you know, and try to uplift ourselves. Yeah. I want to play some more music. Uh, you collaborated with with some previous guests and friends of the show, Kim Petras and Charlie okay. X. Oh yeah. X, on a song called Unlock yes. It. Do you have Do you have a memory about making the song that kind of sticks out in your head? Well, I, I mean, Charlie. She came to Korea. We hit the studio, and she did like she banged out like three sketches in like beast. She's a beast at the studio, yeah. So that's that's like the, the only memory I have. Um, it was very brief, and then yeah, and then she was like, "Yo, like, can you feature on this thing, uh, this song?" And then I was like, "Yeah, send it to me." And it was okay, okay. And I, I love her accent as well. And then it blew up later, like after the release, like three or four years later after the release, I think on TikTok or somewhere, like yeah, yeah which is crazy. I mean, that's the beauty of, you know, you were talking about social media, you know, a couple of minutes ago, but there's really no shelf life on music and facts. If it's good, it's good. And people facts. are going to find, I mean, look at you, you're, you're still listening to John B facts. and Jay-Z records, facts. Facts. you know, and I guarantee you there's going to be a whole new, a whole new demographic of people who hear that song for the first time today. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Because of you. hundred percent. Yes. Which is amazing. Uh, we're going to play it right now. More Jay Park right after this. Okay. Wrapping up my conversation with Jay Park in the Apple Music Studios right now. I mean, dude, you've been consistently dropping music all year long. Yeah. Can we expect a full-length album in the near future? Like, what's on the horizon for you? Yes, sir. Um, full-length album, R&B album coming next year. I've, I've been saying this for, like, four years. But, <laughs> but it's, it's finally ready. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not getting any younger. So, uh, you know, coming out next year, 2024, um, and then, you know, uh, a tour to, to top that off. And then, you know, I'm in the midst of producing a k-pop boy group and so hopefully we'll get them debuted in is that the more the more visions audition yes tour? yes yes so hopefully we'll talk to me about that yeah i mean so you know right now the reason for more vision is i have the opportunity to to make a a, a boy k-pop group and so yeah and I, it's fun because i i get to make it based on what i like you know my my taste so yeah it, it's even though it's a lot of pressure because, you know, we are dealing with young, like young, I don't want to say they're like young kids because they're like young teenagers. Yeah, there we go. We're dealing with teenagers. So it's like this time in their life and what how, they're very influenced by a lot of things right now. And so, like, of course, we want to teach them the right things, the right mentality, the right attitude, and but also want them to work hard. But yeah, it's, it's just a lot of pressure and also it's very expensive, uh, very expensive as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just excited to, to produce like a dope, boy band or k-pop group to my liking you know and just be like yo yeah like even if they're not popular i'll be like i like you guys so it's all good <laughs> well i mean there's also like you know that advice and and direction coming from you is yeah yeah I mean, it's priceless no yeah yeah for sure and you know i have like a lot of just different experiences like i was part of the idol world and then i went solo and yeah. then you know I, I founded a label i founded two labels founded three labels i was the first asian to sign a rock nation started one so so it's like i want them to start as this group and then eventually become dope artists become you know business partners become entrepreneurs become icons i, I want to see that growth you know and i'm excited to, to find a young group of men to share that experience with me yeah yeah i mean also you know there's value in mentorship right 100 you know, sure, percent. like getting to kind of lend your hand and, and give them the blueprint 100 percent. that has to feel good 100 percent. i mean they're probably like oh he's talking my ear off shut up but you know for me it's like I, i'm here to not teach but just to share my experiences and if if it can help you somewhat then you know i did my job so, yeah yeah well with 2024 around the corner man do you have so, any new year's resolutions i mean get the album done um and tour and um drink less one soju yeah <laughs> uh, drink less one soju and you know just continue to be try try to stay positive be thankful um and just be the best human being i can be yeah I love it, man. Well, when the album is ready, send it my way so we can play sure. it on the show. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully sit down and do this again without waiting five years. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thanks. Um, and I want to end our convo the same way that we started it. Uh, I want to play Why. Let's get it. Yeah, Jay Park, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Congrats.